In Philadelphia, getting a gun is about as easy as ordering a pizza. Are guns flooding the streets here in Philadelphia? Yes, they are. Each week, Ray Jones, along with other community volunteers, works to convince those most at risk of being shot or shooting someone to make smarter choices. It's about survival. People are dying in the streets and we need to help. That help, Jones says, isn't coming from the state. More than 85% of the hundreds of murders in Philadelphia this year have been committed with a firearm. Jones blames state lawmakers for failing to pass tougher gun laws and preventing cities like Philadelphia from setting their own gun laws, even though they desperately want to. It really would be appropriate for the city to determine its own sort of destiny. Now our, our, hand, our hands are sort of handcuffed. Back in 1994, a power struggle started when the legislature overturned an assault weapons ban, making AK-47s as easy to get as hunting rifles. The next year, rules were eased on concealed weapons. And Vincent Fumo, state senator and gun owner, pushed through the Uniform Firearms Act making all gun laws uniform for the state of Pennsylvania. A lot of people say that that's what, it's this act that took away the power from states, from cities. Like no, they're misinformed. They're misinformed on that. In 1995, there were fewer than 800 applications for concealed weapons here. Keeping them honest, we checked, and today, there are 29,000 permits to carry. And it's against the law for police to ask anyone why they want one. One law enforcement source told me permits to carry are being passed out like candy. It's like the Wild West. Constitutional law professor David Carries believes if Philadelphia had home rule, a lot would change. Guns would have to be registered and licensed, and there'd be a limit on gun purchases. The way the law stands now... You could buy 50, 100, whatever your credit card would take. Uh, then you can resell them. Carries thinks there'd be stiffer penalties for so-called straw purchasers, too, who legally buy guns only to sell them to those who can't. There's no way of telling just how many legal or illegal guns are on the street. Police have no way of knowing since state law doesn't require gun owners register their weapons. Each year, Philadelphia police recover about 7,000 guns. So many guns, they're running out of room. And so many shootings, police have a backlog of weapons to examine test fire and trace back to the trigger man. People want to think that this is the Wild West. We don't have any laws. What we don't have is enforcement of those laws. Senator Fumo argues tougher gun laws alone won't stop shootings. Last time I checked, we had a law against murder. It doesn't prevent people from killing people. The governor, the mayor, the DA, they all want stricter gun laws here. They sure. say that's the only way it's to reduce it's, it's crime. It's a great way to get away from enforcement. It's a great way of avoiding the issue of hiring more police. So the tug of war over lawmaking continues. It's going to be a shooting gallery. And so does the killing. Randy Kay, CNN, Philadelphia.